It's the grand final edition of the Daily Telegraph NRL podcast. It also is the Daily M after party rap edition. And can I just say, I'm very disappointed in each and every one of you. Why? Uh, antics last night. Because mm. we what went home. Because we went home and you didn't. Staying out there trying to get content for your Sport Confidential column. Got anything for me? I gave you the uh, I gave you the reader aura. Reader aura. <laughs> I don't <laughs> nothing like the old days, boy. No scandal. No, nah. no scandal whatsoever. The, uh, tell you where I'm furious. Daily Cherry Evans. You know what he said to me, and he's wandering around the show. How many? He had a couple. Yeah, he was doing he very said, well. He said, "Isn't it past your bedtime?" <laughs> Whiteley missed his first tackle. <laughs> oh, wow. He did. Oh, that's going in the column. I man. said, how dare you? <laughs> that is unreal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Daily Cherry Evans was very good company oh, last night. Wow. He, was, he was leading. He was enjoying himself. Yes. When the lights went on, at, when things were wrapping up, he <laughs> was leading a little quartet of Queenslanders, <laughs> Tom Dearden, Reuben Cotter, and yeah, the right. kangaroo wow. backflipper, Callum Ponga. In a nice little quadrilla over there that they were That's around. very good. You'd think yeah. they'd won yeah, the Origin good. Series. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's very good. Remember they were talking no. about how to Adam. beat the Blues, now Madge is gone. It was a good night, I thought, boys. I'm interested. Like, so They're you, always good nights. What are you mm. interested well, in? Now? I'm worried about your nerves. Well, Have no, you ever I'm done sorry. a grand final show? Please, plenty. Just <laughs> be yourself. Be Michael K. Okay. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> That's what I say to Reedy in Port <laughs> Just be Brent Reed. Oh, well, let me do it then. So you said grand final week edition. Daily and wash-up edition. Yep. What about the farewell edition? Right. Hello, Mr. Oh, Holidays. Yes, yeah. four and a half months yeah. off. <laughs> oh, farewell yeah, edition. Good, no. <laughs> Can you just let people know where you will be this time next week? Greece. I'll be in uh, Greece. What about Working that? my way down to Kithra. Beautiful. Just, the yeah. island of Kithra, home of Nick Politis and Peter Volandis. And now I have booked an Airbnb and I'm not staying or accepting anything <laughs> Free accommodation, mm. which many people have suggested. <laughs> <laughs> well, any time you mention those two key figures, it's an obvious question. Uh, they give me tip sheets. <laughs> tip where, where tip go. <laughs> best feta, best olives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait. How oh, good. I'll be very so, interested to see how the weather is, Buzz, that time of year. It's okay. Good. It, it's not too hot and it's tourist season's done. Yeah. You know, it'll be pleasant. Can we just call Very you jealous. once a week for your dinner updates? Because um, <laughs> when, it, when it's you Michael, now you, it'll be you doing What's the, land. the time difference? If uh, I'm up and about, I'm happy to appear via phone hookup. That'll what about it. he's already getting into the European attire in preparation Very with his beautiful lemon cotton shirt that he's wearing? Marks. You need. I like Marks. This was a giveaway shirt what? Pete the Greek gave it to You me. need, like, <laughs> all you need is, like, shorts and some boat shoes and you're ready yeah. to go. I like great boat shoes. I used to be a yachty. Did you? Yes. We should bring our shoe collections in next year just to mm. mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Mate, well, I have the best we'll shoes. Get them. Okay. You're oh, going to bring these them in. On joggers. Well, they're, yeah, they're good. Can we start talking football? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you You're want the... anyone to listen? What about Stephen <laughs> Crichton's shoes last night? Yeah. 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 Hey? Was Stephen Crichton, was that a swagger that he was walking up the stage with or an injury? I couldn't tell. No, he's just huge. He's, mate, his legs are that big, he just strides. He's such a big human, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's a big man. What about Jack Bostock? Twenty, Just turned yeah. 21. Big giant. Guy. And a really lovely kid, too. Yes, he's a lovely fella. Whenever these guys win the awards, Crichton's, a, you know, an exception. But when, like, Bostock got up there, I just felt sorry for Saints fans. Mm. Like, how do you let him go? Yeah. I, t- I turned to you and said I know, that. I said there was another one. And then, mate, then that was Wishard. Tyrant Wishard. Your mm. man, Hawk. You've jumped off the hook bandwagon very quickly. He sends you texts every now and again, too, the old Hawk. You <laughs> stay in touch, eh? Hey? Yeah. Play on. Play, uh, play on. on. Play on. <laughs> Loves nothing more. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you, uh, you go back with Hawk a long way. I was then, mates with Hawk, but the then, bottom line is, it makes a good point. Wish oh, I made well. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, wish I made oh, yeah, it. The other thing, too, is, is um, Jerome Hughes. Uh, he was he was at the feeder club of the ca- like Titans, hmm. then goes to the Cowboys feeder, hmm. which then got me thinking about the Cowboys, who's let Caelan Pong yeah, go. Yeah, the last two Daly Emmons. Jerome Hughes go. Yeah, the last two Daly yeah. Emmons. Imagine that. Um, they've lost another one. Brandon Nurse Smith. And George is trying to sign. Brandon Smith. Peter Parr, who let them both go. Yeah. Mm. And it's interesting Whoa. last night that when Daly Cherry Evans came across and congratulated Jack Bostock on the Rookie of the Year award and when Greg Alexander was handing out to him, he, they were talking about how 
because Brandy went from rookie of the year to Dally M in 12 months and he was saying how much of a whirlwind it was he couldn't remember and Daly said to Jack mate I was in exactly the same position I felt the exactly the same way he goes I can't believe I'm here now I'm 35 and this is going on and yeah it was a nice moment with Jack and DC yeah, that nice. he, he took the time to come across and see Can the young I bloke. Say, you always talk yourself up as an old pathways coach at Cronulla. <laughs> You do, don't you? I don't, but you, you do. I do. do. I do. Just stop you it. Do, well, Blake Broly was it. sitting opposite <laughs> you. Blake, oh, really? Stop Blake, Blake Broly sitting it. across from him. Did you come and, and say he's, hello? I was well, giving him tip here's sheets. The, here's the hooker that Mick helped create. I did not. Yeah, I right. did not. <laughs> I coached against Jack Bostock. Yes. And Joseph Swali. Oztag? Oztag. Yeah, it doesn't, ca- doesn't count. He could play that back then. He was Wollongong and... Just trying to remember who What Joseph sort of coach were you, Buzz? Were you a ranter or what was it? Tactically, not great. <laughs> <laughs> but my goodness, I could get the best out of a football. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you asked. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Would that be a... Are you the Why? Mal Meninger of... Tactically. Yeah, like Mal. He's a Mal Tactically manager. Tactically, not great. Yeah. yeah. I had an you outsider needed a, who used to look up. Yeah, you that. needed a Neil Henry. The place, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best. Can we please no, that's too good. doing something? You, you're on fire. They say you're telling you to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. and tactically not great. What about Buzz? I'll just, while we're on this, what about you last night selling yourself around as the bloke who ends feuds, the bloke that brings people well, I together? Do. <laughs> I do. You, oh. I don't want to go into too many, but I've offered to get Blake Solly back with Abner. <laughs> oh, oh, oh good Abner. luck with that one. Oh, what? Well. How's that going to go? Oh. Who knows? Yeah, it's some great. Was in good form last night. Yeah, yeah. good fellow. Hasn't been his best year. <laughs> but, you know, how yeah. many drive-bys today? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can tell you're gone before. Move and on. Buzz is dropping all these bombs. We've got to stay and work next week. <laughs> yeah. Anyone yeah. else you oh, want to drive by? Yeah, yeah. I like Mate, it. It's a grand final edition. Pick so, yourself well, up. Nick, we'll God, are, we, are we going to speak about grand finals? Are we we'll still doing that? Well, we'll, oh, get we'll get there. A bit of insight into last night, eh? Yeah, insight into last night because Jerome Hughes. Um, what did you guys think when it came down to one point in it? Round 26, Jerome Hughes didn't play. He was rested. I thought, geez, at one point that might cost him. Mm. Um, and the referee's push. Yeah, the referee push t- six took points. six points off. Mm. But it, it meant that that final round where uh, James Tedesco picked up maximum points, you thought, hang on a second. And then they read through everything that um, Hughes <laughs> did in that yeah. final game. And worthy winner, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that was the game. He, he was he and sealed it, it, it with the final game. Yeah, and isn't it funny, like, Teddy picked up majors because they had injuries and Sammy Walker wasn't playing and competing for points yeah. with him. And it was the right result, though, guys. Mm. And I love the Dally M's compared to the Brownlow medal. You can have one slip up. You can have one slight act, of, but you can still win the thing. Yeah. Brownlow medal, he couldn't have won it. No, even though gone. he's clearly yeah. the best player. Yeah. I tell you, uh, when, when I was... Good role, Mick. I tell you, Teddy has... Love the brown line. Teddy's had an enormous... I'm saying it, we're better. <laughs> yeah, I'm Come agreeing. on, mate. He doesn't even know what the brown line is. <laughs> um, Tedesco had a huge year. Yeah, Seriously. what about the year that he's yeah. had? What, what got me there is 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 I can't believe what I, I stood interviewing him in Las Vegas to start the year. And you realise how much these blokes put into yeah. such a long season. It helped that he only played one Origin game. Yeah, you remember after last year's series, he took off to Byron Bay, and there was should he go into the Roosters game because he was cooked. Yeah, who, who questioned and look that? how fresh he was. I questioned it, and I think it was entitled to. I just just yeah. for context, that's move all. on. Uh, what Thank about the God Harker? The what one. about the Harker that Will Warbrick um, initiated? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, and I, I just love how he sprung out of his seat. And he was almost like he was willing to go it alone if he had to. Yeah. It was such a mark of yeah. respect. Yeah. And then the, and then Joseph Tarpany and yeah. Eli Katoa got involved as well. It was fantastic. It's almost akin to starting a slow clap and nobody getting on board. But yeah. he was yeah, he, yeah. Didn't, he didn't care. Though. He didn't waver. He was straight yeah. in, which was terrific. That was special, wasn't it? Hmm. Caught Bonnie by surprise. She'd close the night. Yeah. Then, yeah. then this noise of coming from yeah. there. How good, eh? Hmm. What about the year of Essie Katoa? Yeah, we're hearing this a bit of footage now. Goosebumps. 
Yeah. Yeah. And when I saw that, I thought, my goodness, how are the kangaroos going to match that passion in the Pacific? Mm. It means so... Isn't it special? It does. Yeah. The kangaroos just have... A lot of Kiwis dropping out. Yeah, a lot of That's Kiwis are dropping out. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. yeah. It's, oh, to, to Tonga and oh, uh, a bit of everything. injury as well, yeah, and right. and I, I actually feel for Stacey Jones because he's coming in off the thirty nil thrashing from yeah, yeah. Madge's Kiwis. Only one mate and go and but down. Yeah, and he's he's running out of players to the point where he does. Well, they don't know who they're going to play in the halves alongside Jerome Hughes. Yeah, and, and you guys happy with all the award winners? Uh, uh, yeah, largely. So I think let, let's run through them, mate. Hey. So fullback of the year, James Tedesco. Great. Yeah. Uh, yep. No brainer with the Dalian points there. Your wingers, Zach Lomax, Brian Toto. Yep. I thought Lomax a lock, and I probably would have gone Karaz over Toto. But yeah, not, Karaz, good point. Not huge. And box stop. Yeah, there was some great. Yeah, I like, yeah. I, like, I, like I'm, yeah. I'm not going to knock Brian Toto, so I'm comfortable with it. But I'll, if I was, I would have gone Karaz. Yeah. More meters and any other player in the comp. Mm. Centers, Herbie Farmworth and Stephen, Captain of the Year, Crichton, uh, and just sidebar. First year captain yeah. getting the award. He's only yeah. 23 or however old he is. Like, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Got 10 years left of dominating. What were you doing at 23, you guys? Working. Yeah. Captain of the year? Captain of the leader. I was working at the sports. Were <laughs> No <laughs> leader. I have a bit of a problem with the centres, I'm sorry. Blow up. I would have whacked Jesse Rame in, in ahead of Herbie. Herbie missed a fair bit. Yeah. I think Jesse Rame had easily his best season of his entire career. Um, and I thought the indication of that was in the semi-finals when he was out. Yeah, Cronulla weren't the same out wide defensively, yeah. attacking wise. I thought I thought he was better than Herbie Farnworth. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cheers having a Paul podcast, mate. If I'm rating you on what you just done, agree say, with me about Carras about three seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, but you, you're not involved enough. Lift your voice. Okay, sorry. The next one I'll fire up. Right, Tom Dearden, five eighth of the year. Yeah, should have been Jerome Lawyer. I think that was, the, that was the clear one for me of all the positional awards of one where I thought was they probably got wrong was I, I definitely would have had Luai. You carried him and Isaiah Yo Penrith for a long period of time without Cleary. I mm. again agree with you, Michael. You happy with that? I would have gone Luai. Oh, no, I'm just uh, you're happy with me inserting himself there. Yeah, I am. Better. Yeah. You've got to pick your moments. Who boss. are the judges? We don't know. An, it's a little secret. Anonymous. Yeah, so there's no one we can bag. No accountability. Bag everyone. Yeah, you know, if you're the Dally M five eighth of the year, you know, you're you're in the like that's that's you're in elite discussion. And for me, Tommy didn't went missing again for the Cowboys against Cronulla and when it mattered. He wasn't in He the, had a good year. He had a good year. But you're elite. Yeah. And Jerome Luai, mm. to Buzz's point, mm. helped carry Penrith. To this point in time. Is this based on Daly M points, though? I don't think it is anymore. Is it? Oh, I would think it is, isn't I it? I don't think I it is. I think the Those way we used to do it is the top yeah. three were automatic positional and then it's a judgment call. Yeah, yeah. Mobsy would have to be because let's just say Jerome Luai had polled more points than Tom Dearden. How could you? It'd, it'd have to be Luai. Mm. Mm. So oh. I think it would come. What? Do you want me to get Jacko on the phone? <laughs> While we're talking Jerome Hughes at halfback for halfback of the year, Dalian, um, you, not in so many words, but last night intimated to me that you're the reason that Jerome Hughes was able to win I've, the Dalian. I'll tell this... you what happened. Seriously, um, the, there was a lot of controversy about the Rothmans medal and these awards being strictly a best and fairest, oh, yeah. and if he got sent off. So... About 20 years ago, Malcolm Node was Managing Director of News Corp and was also on the NRL board. And we had, I think, John Brady come in and the three of us had a meeting and we changed the rule at that meeting where you can still get sent off, suspended, mm. but you do get deducted the yep. points you could have won that week. Mm. So, yeah, it was changed about 20 years ago. Can you do the same with the Rookie of the Year? It still needs some tinkering. Well, <laughs> the, the, the Rookie of the Year is so easy to fix. What's the I used to have a bit of clout in those days. Now? I was executive director of sport. Mm. That's the days that's a I was long hiring title. you, hiring you, Definitely. and hiring you. That, that's a long title, isn't it? Right. That, that's good. And that's a powerful title. That's it. Executive director mm. 
I had an enormous sway in this city back then. <laughs> mm. What about the Paul hey? Bunn of, of journalism recruiters here yeah, with yeah. us? us three. I am. Oh, you, well, you keep talking about I mean, He never talks he, about his I want to hear your missus. He doesn't talk about his because missus. Because I'm not going to offend anyone on my podcast. <laughs> well, Particularly you just, how long have we been on air for? You've given everyone <laughs> a drive-by so far. <laughs> Who? Blake Solly. <laughs> they've got to, fix, it, they've got to fix that Rookie of the Year. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it, it's, it's so simple. If he gets him, just deduct the points. He still wins anyway. Lucky Galvin. Lucky Galvin, yeah. Max, Maxi Plath, well, let's had a great if, year. If he gets suspended for um, two matches or more, you're out of the running. Yeah. Two, what's the two? only thing yeah. is, I don't want to say Jack didn't deserve the award, you know, because great Yeah, player. of course, yeah. And he had a great year, 14 yeah. tries. What about yeah. that? I mean, I, had a good year. I, I talked to him last night, and obviously being a Parramatta tragic, I said, what about your hat-trick against the Eels in Darwin? He goes, yeah, I remember that. He goes, we are down 6-4, then we are down 6 yeah, uh we were down 12, technically. We came out in the second half. I said, did Parramatta score a try in the second half? Because, yeah, they got one late. He, he just he almost had an eidetic memory, the yeah. kid, just remembering it. But, yeah, really. He, he thought that was his best performance mm. of the season. Uh, mm. Yeah, he's been a real fine for him. Mm. Well, and that, a lovely bloke. Yeah. Who uh, Buzz coached against in Oztag. I so. introduced myself to him last night. And a really, really nice fella. Did you mm. tell him the Oztag story? Yeah, we did, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which he remembered. So, um, yeah. Your Dally and Props of the Year. Uh, Adam Fanua Bloke and J- Joseph Tarpane. Can't argue to that. Oh, I'm uncomfortable leaving Fisher Harris out again. You know? I don't think Fisher Harris has been great this no. year. Nah, no. No, mate. Nah, I don't think he's been. He hasn't been poor. Like I think mm. his back half of the year was much better than his front half of the year. I thought he's. Stru- mm. I don't think he was at that high level. At the- Half the year. Adam Finnell Blake was probably the same though. Like Adam Finnell Blake had a really he's weird year. Under a grand final, you know. I yeah. said that. I said the buzz is a, um, a week or two ago about Adam Finnell Blake. He he made the most average run meters in the entire competition. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, a crazy he, stat, Dave. Average. It's a crazy stat. He's a front rower. Front rowers don't do that. No. Nah. And so so he made the most average run meters in the entire NRL. In the top ten, the next nine players below Finnell Blake are Bring outside us. backs. Yeah. Yeah. Number 10 is Joseph Tarpany. Right. The Dalian prop of the year. Oh, he's a game changer for the Sharks, though. Like, I've been backing so, up about their four. But back. I think he's it's a, justifiable. He is a game changer. Oh, we I'm, don't have a kangaroo, mate. We don't have an origin player. Adam Finnell Blake is a game changer for the Sharks forward back. Hmm. Yeah. But he's a game changer. Put that in context, Dave. I don't want to say the outside backs get cheap metres, but you've got to imagine a lot of those Finnell Blake metres are post contact. That's mm. a lot of yeah. effort. And to top. Everyone of the outside back. Extraordinary, mate. Do you like his outfit, guys? It was yeah. very I love um, it. traditional. It was a traditional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. He'll be playing for Tonga in the I love uh, that passion, passion those boys show. Yeah. So special. Mm. Um, well, well, you know, seriously, when I started, there were hardly any Maoris in the comp. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, Polynesian boys. Who's the first Henry one? Henry Tartner. Remember? Henry Tartner, the goal kicking St. George front rower. Hmm. Um, Apicide Toga, uh, the Fafita at mm. um, Cronulla, at St. George. St. George, yeah. You know, they were... Yeah. And, and I've done stories on John this Fafita? before. Yeah. The, 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 it started back in the 70s with about 0.02% yeah. were Polynesian. Yeah. And yeah. it's now about 55%. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they bring so much to this comp. Well, a little off-season project to have a look at. Yeah, it's, it's growing, growing, then. growing. Well, yeah, Buzz won't do it. He's not here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure he's around for consultation in Greece if I if I make the call. Should I tell him what my story idea is for the off-season? My comeback column next year? <laughs> I'm going to apply to be a player manager. <laughs> I'm going to go through the process and... And get see. knocked on. So, yeah. well, I don't have a rap on a lot of player managers. I think some of them are, shouldn't be involved. Can you I want to know how they get on there. Can you be my agent? Sorry? Be my agent? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do talent. I want to do football. <laughs> <laughs> Last night you offered... Imagine me going in the ABC trying to get your pay <laughs> right. <laughs> Mate, I wouldn't get anywhere near the joint. No, you'd get me sacked the and PR better off. The PR department <laughs> didn't talk to me last week. Or he he was the you piece offered last night to come and sit next to Russell Jackson during his annual review with me as his agent yes, when she yes. recredited. Could you imagine but that? don't you think it'd be fun? How do these guys become yeah. managers? Yeah. Do it's a good buzzy story, boy. mate. Do it. Yeah. Imagine the What the Buzz column on Sunday. What the Buzz, and with a stamp on it, accredited agent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's yeah. going to be the first player you target? You. Thanks, mate. You and well, Brave. Where are you? At Sandfox, 
Triple M. Triple M. <laughs> And Dalek. <laughs> you and you and you and four gigs. Well, yeah. I'm just you, you and Braith head to head again, Buzz. Talk of them. Yeah, me and Braith head, head to head. head again. Mate, if Braith you might can still, get credit, I'll get you it. You might still monster off him. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? I don't know. Speaking of stealing, what about the? Uh, I just want to do it for a story. I don't want to manage anyone. No, you I have to manage. How hard it is. Oh, you because I think you have to be authentic. That you want to be a manager. Yeah, so I don't think they just put can, anyone can you, through the course. Can you of, can you put the? As long as you don't like, need a degree. Can you put the management <laughs> fees accreditate? Like, uh, can you claim it? What do you mean? What's on your work card? Type limited, self-employed, but, but semi expense. You have to ex submachine. expense it. <laughs> <Hey>? Expense it. <laughs> I'll be talking to Adam about expenses. You can expense it, and then yeah. you can pick up a plier. Look at this raw. He's all over it. <laughs> He's all over it. It will phase out of his media career straight into plier management. Back row is Bobsy. This company of mine might yeah. just branch out. Nice from Dave. That's very good. Back rows of the year. Ellie Katoa. Yep. Angus Crichton. Well, Angus Crichton was a lock. And, and yeah, Katoa debatable for me. Who do you have? Oh, he had a great year, no doubt. Um, Billy Army Kickow. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I'm happy with Katoa, but yeah. kick out. Yeah, I'm the same. Good. I'm the same as Buzz. I'm happy yeah. with Katoa. If they went kick out, I would have been fine with as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Harry Grant, hooker. Yeah. Walk up start. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, strong back half of the year as well. Yeah. Mm. Patchy first half. Oh, look, the only one that I think is the five eighth one. Yeah. The I'll rest say, of them. Are you happy with that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, just the, the five A is probably the only one where I go. I definitely would have gone. Well, Royce Simmons said oh, Isaiah is the greatest forward he's ever seen in Pen wow. at Penrith. Been some good ones, boys. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how's that? Why? Such a smart footballer, mm. yo. And you know, extraordinary. He's gone past Steve Carter as the most capped Panther mm. ever. Like he's. And this is the way his career's evolved, right? Yeah. From a <coughs> outside back. Yeah. Okay, first grader yeah. into one of the games elite. The last 20 minutes yeah. against Cronulla, he just put the foot down and just mm. ripped through and said, see you later. Mm. I'm yeah. going. I like his yeah. speeches too last night, you know. He yeah, speaks he's good. good. Yeah. He just said we left the last three comps at the door and went about it again, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Mm. Right, uh, we've got a grand final yeah, on grand breaking final. news. Can we talk about that yet? Is, isn't Isaiah yeah, playing in that game? Haven't, yes. we, haven't we seamlessly transitioned yeah. us into grand final conversation yeah. like a good host? Yeah. It's all right. So, um, what we haven't spoken about, Craig Bellamy versus Ivan Cleary. Well, a bit of a coach snub last night at the Dalliums too. A lot of coaches. Billy was there. there. Yeah. Mm. It was easy to say who was there. It was Bellamy, Fitzgibbon, Payton, Ben Hornby, and um, who was Serraldo. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think I'm missing one. And, uh, well, they went Craig Andrew Bellamy. Webster. Andrew Webster. Andrew Webster. Yeah, Webster. Yep. Webby Thank was you. there too. They went with Craig Bellamy for coach of the year. No. Which how, how, can anyone ever, how can anyone ever argue with the minor premiers Four being points coach clear. of the year and completely dominate it? Like if they went, it was either him or Sorrell. Oh, you could make a yeah. case for the, the other two guys. Well, you, uh, not for me, for Ivan this year, but you, you could make a case for Sorrell. Because Ivan, did, yeah, Ivan like, got to this point in time without Nathan Cleary for the majority yeah, I, of the year. I get yeah, that, but how many... No, like, it often goes the most improved. Yeah. This thing, yeah, yeah someone yeah. who's bought 16, yeah. which Cameron Sorrell did. Sensational yeah. job. Last two coaches but, have been rookie of the year. Coaches. Yeah, 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 and haven't gone. So I look, the, I'm pleased that he got it. Yeah, I think he deserves it. thoroughly deserved. Yeah. No zero issue here, and probably that's the way I would have voted. But, but the argument is, where do these two men stand in the all-time great coaches? That to play in a fifth straight grand final, going for four straight. Yeah. Or Bellamy's extraordinary success: ten grand finals, twenty years. 19 finals appearances, only one missed out with the salary cap. Yeah. I think it's 12 of the last 14 years he's finished in the top four. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. And can we talk about the fact that they were, if, they're, if we're talking horse racing, they were three lengths behind Brisbane and Penrith last year, the Storm, weren't they? They, yeah, yeah. they, they weren't in, yeah, the, same, yeah. they weren't in mm. the same class. Yep. And so they've gone away in the off season. And whatever it is they've done, yeah. they have blown everyone off the park. They have not only caught yeah. up with it, they've gone past them in the regular season yeah. by a long way. That, and that's, I yeah. think that gets overlooked a little bit because because we're so used to seeing them up top of the ladder mm. and doing so well. Like you said, that top four record buzz is remarkable. Mm. But, you know, to, to re-establish themselves as that power and mm. a lot of pressure now on Penrith because, you know, this is the... You look at Penrith's grand final wins, they... 
I'm not saying they snuck away, but they they really close against South. They blew mm. Parramatta off the park and really close within a whisker of losing the Broncos. So yeah. it shows you how tight the comp is and a fully fledged fit Melbourne team, although without Nelson Osofa Solomona, big ask. Yeah. Well, I think I think when you talk about that transition from last year, Mobsy, I think Nelson needed a kick up the backside. And remembering too that he had all the contract drama going on. Yep. He had um, he came back he came back through reserve grade. Yeah, yeah, North Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Sydney. right. And 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 he needed a kick up the backside to understand how important he is to this team, which is why which is why you got to have a little bit of a concern about on Sunday because he's not there. Um, and I also think they've got a much more consistent back five than than pre than last year. They were going through mm. Remus Smith and. Um, uh, high rotation of different wingers, and they just had no consistency. Now they got Warbrick, mm. Coates. Yeah, Olam was yeah. in and out last year. Olam was in and out. Yeah. yeah, Coates. Nick Moon is a sol- solid as. Yeah, um, and obviously Jack Howarth. Yeah, Nick, Nick Moon is a really good point, Dave. Having him at home mm. on that centre spot and and just being that pillar there and yeah. being consistent and um, you know obviously he played a lot of fullback last year because of. Pappenhausen's injury and then the emergence of your man Howarth buzz. Yeah, and guys, just back quickly back to Bellamy and um, Cleary and the coaches. We've got all these matchups we just rave about Edwards, Pappenhausen, Luai Munster, Hughes, Cleary, you know, and there's so many good. But the biggest matchups, those two coaches. And I guarantee you, this <coughs> game is so tight that one tactical, you see him on the walkie mm. talkies all the time, or Belly Oak gets someone else to do it. It could come down to one mm. smart little call. Those, the, their clash is as important as the fullbacks. Yeah. Sorry, man, I can't take your point seriously from a bloke who's self confessed is not really great on tactics. <laughs> oh, can't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no, oh, drama. Oh, drama. Oh, oh, no. It's a grand final walkout. Imagine the rating. <laughs> They'd all turn off. Sit down. Huh? Yeah. Oh. But you're right, though. It's you know why he's all copy. Well, <laughs> ABC have done very well on Sundays, which is his day. What's <laughs> what about Saturdays? Are pretty good too. Yeah, no, they've had a good survey. Beat, beat. But your other station had a bad survey. Yeah, you can't win, win some, or lose some. Talk us through it. Well, ABC have won the ratings on a Sunday. Well, no, you haven't. You finished level both on nine point eight. Okay, that's pretty good. Sorry, both six point eight. And Saturday just short of GB. That's your day. You yeah. didn't win. Just, just, just <laughs> short. But I reckon if we compared the lead-ins and the turnaround, we jump way higher. Might be Luke Lewis's fault. Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good ratings though, Buzz. I'm now aligned with Triple M. <laughs> Three weeks of invoices. Oh, oh, oh. Are you on Big Sports Breakfast? Where yeah, did Triple, on there where did Triple M rank in the? Oh, I have a few. Uh... That would have been during your period, actually. So what Hello. I, what I, oh, oh, you started something no, here. It was not during my. <laughs> it was during the Olympics. And when did you it fill in in Triple mate. M? Go away. Yeah. <laughs> Go away, you flip. These guys are away. You um, crumbled. Well, so what do I do? <laughs> Oh, shut up, will you? It probably was. You're probably right. Uh, he's conceded. Reedy will be saying that. But what I do, Rugby League Heartland is Sydney and Brisbane, so I combine the figures and Triple M wins. Have you combine. always combined the figures or are they just a new thing? Uh, Statistics are a funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> they can be twisted to suit <laughs> agendas. <laughs> Sound like Johnny Lane. Anyway, I'm looking forward to getting a wrap in Sunday's paper bus. Oh. What do you want, the same? <laughs> no. I'll tell you one bloke, you won't be getting a mention. Stop it. Lodge everything he is. What about, anyway. your, <laughs> what about his Triple M alum, Dan Ganane, last night? How do you enjoy being part of the Triple M group now, Buzz? And, oh, oh, I thought Buzz oh. said that to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's thrown me off, that little thing you said. <laughs> <laughs> you started it. Next. Oh. Um, <laughs> mate, I'm going to double check that. <laughs> <laughs> what period it covered? Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> right. Can you you talk about the bloody Olympics, right? And tri- and two uh. GB wonder why they fell. Mate, I switched on driving into work one day. Mark Levy, restaurateur, broadcaster, 
was calling table tennis <laughs> China versus someone. <laughs> like, they wonder why they had a bad Can you survey. give us a go? How it, how oh, no. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it was the worst radio ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, back to, back to grand finals. finals. <laughs> um, can you find any weaknesses in these teams? Anything that can be exploited? Ooh, good question. Clear his shoulder, possibly. I don't, clear his shoulders are just a ticking time bomb, right? He could play... That's why Schneider's on the bench. He could he? play a minute yeah. or he could play the next... Mm. Like I know they don't have games, but he could play all of next season and be sweet, right? It's just yeah. one of those things with the shoulder. Um, I think Melbourne's weakness is probably their bench rotation, maybe. I think Penrith have the edge and forwards. Penrith, he didn't bring Welsh on for a long no, time. No, but he's going to have to play a fair few minutes now with yeah. Nelson. He got six yeah. minutes yeah. out. Yeah. Lazarus comes onto the bench, you know. And it that's, just, yeah. It just shifts that. Where, mm. uh, you know, Lindsay Smith and Liam Henry have been outstanding for, yeah. for Penrith. Yeah. Um, they could be the difference makers. That's, now, what I, that's, that's probably one area um, for, for the I'd squad. go. I'd, I'd go at Alamotti. I'd go at the rookies in this big occasion if I'm Melbourne. I'd go at, at um, even Luke Garner in the back row there. You know, Alamotti didn't have a club this time last year. Yeah. I was talking to Dave Riolo during the week. I might do something on Sunday. Bit unwanted. Great yarn. Mm. The dogs took Crichton. Yeah. The, the dogs took Bronson mm. Cherry. And yeah. That's, that's unprofessional. Is that oh, my I'd, uh, yes. I'd go to Alamotti. I think, I think the Storm's weaknesses is, is this loss of Nelson. Yeah. He's been able to start them on the front foot in the first 20 minutes in each of their big games, and he's not there. And yeah. it's going to be on either Tui Kamikamitha or Christian Welsh to to try and replicate that. And I just don't know if they can. Yep. And Penrith's weakness, I don't, I don't know. Well, Nathan yeah. Shoulders, one of them. And yeah. as I said, I'd go after their, their most inexperienced in this arena. Look, one, one of the weaknesses, and this is an e, like, is the the height advantage that the Melbourne Wingers have. You know, yeah. it's just like yeah. you've got. Warbrick and, and Coates who yeah. tower over Toto and Taru. Oh, they are outstanding wingers. Those yeah. two. They're outstanding. And like um, like and the wingers storm, yeah. more than hold their own. But I can't get they, over, you know, grand finals wingers were used to carry handbags and <laughs> they used to, mate. They well, did nothing. They, they could be that that could be the difference in, in such a tight game. A, a pinpoint kicking game with, with those big wingers. Yep. Dave's doing a project for the weekend uh, talking about where the Storm players were discovered and mate, I can't wait to hear your your line about Warbrick and the calls with Bellyache yeah. and that are really good just to yeah. their due diligence about getting the right guys in. He's managed by a guy called Michael Hudson, right? And um, someone told me the story during the week. Hudson saw him playing on TV, Dave. Yep. At a some sevens or nines tournament. He, Rugby said, seven, he yeah. got his number, he said, send him a text, are you interested in the league? Do you have a manager? And his text came back was, yes, interested in the league, no, I don't have a manager. Nice. So uh, mm. Hudson picked him up. He had, he had to do a Zoom chat with Belly, um, Belly oh, did he? and Frank Panisi before they signed him. Wow. It was, yeah. The, the, the stories I of hope this is because the Penrith one you did last year. That was a great I reckon it's story. better. Is it? Remember his Jim Jones yeah. story? Yeah, terrific. Yeah. Wow. Fingers crossed. Good job, Dave. Mm. Thanks, mate. And Moving Jimmy on. Jones, and You're another one. You're a good one. kid, mate. You've, made, you, Thank you've you, had mate. a good year. Mm. You've had a good year. Pay rise? Don't you reckon? Mobsy pay rise. Yeah. We've got our review next week. I might ask for that. <coughs> yeah. That's part of it. self-employed, mate. No one reviews you. You know that great manly <laughs> song? <laughs> what? <laughs> No one reviews you. <laughs> it, the yeah. one thing he was looking forward to when he stepped away was just, I don't have to answer to anyone. Yeah. Well, you can cut me easy, though. <laughs> well, this it's is not like a the, end, It's not a back-ended contract. This is like that manly <laughs> side, Dave, where they're all taking unders to stay together. So we'll, just, yeah, we'll have right. that chat later. Yeah. We'll have that chat later. All right, who wins? Dave? Melbourne. Penn. Melbourne, I think they've been so dominant. Um, throughout this entire final series. You know, if Cronulla were better, if Cronulla had some class about them, some elite level capabilities as a roster, they could have pushed Penrith last week. Um, I'm going Melbourne. 
generous. I don't know. Like it's really, it's it's. I, I didn't like that from him. I thought mm. he could have been a uh, little better for our audience. I just think the class of. No, they're both good. So I don't know. I'm finding it really hard to tip because you look at the last couple of grand finals, and you know I think Penrith and the last, particularly the last two, I thought they were going to be clear cut winners. The first one against South, I think was obviously a bit tougher because yeah. you had the Bennett factor and things like that. But um, I'm tipping Penrith, but with no confidence. Mm. It, it, it should, it should, it's the grand final that the game deserves because you got the two clearly easy. The best two sides in the competition, and I think we could have an all-time great game. Yeah, mm. I feel this is the year that Penrith are finally going to be get caught out with losing champions, and I'm talking Stephen Crichton, and you mentioned Alamotti fills that role, and Taylor and May's gone, and Burton and Kickow and Hopgood. You know, they've just lost so many. Mm. And this Storm side, while they've got this sensational spine, I love their three-quarter line. And Nick Mooney is a very, very good centre. Howarth is an outstanding footballer. We've spoken about their wingers. Their edge forwards, you know, Bloor and Katoa. Mm. They're powerful and they've just got massive workhorses in the middle positions, you know. And I, I, they've been the best side all year. I think they'll win. I tell you what, if it comes down to goal kicking, it's going to be interesting, which is there's a big possibility of big that. Big record's as good as Cleary's, isn't no. it? No. 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 Maybe he struggles, yeah. mate. Does he? Yeah. Yeah. So Cleary could have the edge there. Well, there Let's go, go back on that if uh, it happens. Yeah. Well, I'm um, I'm going with the Panthers. I th- it's like Michael Jordan Two and the Bulls. Balls. You're, you're, you're the champions until you're not, and I think they've earned it. I think... I agree with you about Cronulla, the Cronulla game last week, but I go back to the week before against the Roosters and how dominant they mm. were early. And to your point, Mick, about the different grand finals that they've faced the last couple of years, they've they've still found ways to win, and yeah. you still see them growing as a football side and <laughs> adapting to pressure and, and, and that. So uh, I think their middles, I think the the. Liam Henry and Lindsay Smith coming on after that first stint mm. of the big boppers will be crucial, um, and that's a, that's a lot of pressure. And the other guy there is Dylan Edwards, who I think his work in the middle to tire out those Melbourne forwards. I mean, you see the way he just bobs mm. in and around and creates drama for people. You know, if if Dylan Edwards is a nine out of ten, then Penrith win, I reckon. I just I love the matchup between the halves as well. You have got the best player in the game. Uh, the best player this season up against the best player in the game. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, we've seen Nathan just own big moments over the last couple of seasons when it's mattered, even on uh, against the Sharks on, on Saturday night, 40-20, into setting up a try, and that was when his side had nothing going on, you know. And, um, yeah, I, and Jerome's just been outstanding off the back of a daily M, so a lot of it's... There's matchups galore. It should, mm. Honestly, it should be an amazing game. Yeah. Mm. Buzzy, in- interesting quotes from Craig Bellamy at the Daly M's talking about how Jerome Hughes needed to find that confidence in his yeah, game and yeah. he hadn't quite got it. He's 29 now and he's won mm. the Daly M and he said he's finally got it and he didn't want to go... He looked like he was really happy with the mentality of Hughes, didn't he? He, looked, mm. he, he tried to contain himself a bit, but I thought that was really telling. Yes, absolutely. I'll tell you what I liked about his speech. He confirmed what I wrote a couple of years ago. Had a massive stink with Cooper Cronk about it. When Cooper was coaching the East Harps and the Melbourne Harps. <laughs> well, he did. Yeah, Jerome gave Cooper a rap last night yep. for making him a halfback. He did. He did. I... How's that Do you remember feud? that 360 feud? Yeah. yeah, mate, yeah. I don't have any problems. We acknowledge each other and go about our business. Right, OK. He did a good job with Vonnie last night. Yeah, Cooper. I thought that was good. Mm. Right, Mick, listener questions. All right. This is your part, isn't it? This is where... I really is. like this one. This he, is he gets good metres Tiger here. Cast. If Jerome Luai was on the market from November 1 this year instead of last year, how much would he be worth and how many clubs would be after him? To say he signed for the Tigers, we were saying around 1.2 mil. Mm-hmm. Where does Jerome Law sit now, boys? Dave? Oh, I think he's. I don't think he can go much more than that. That's, mm. a, that's a massive deal. Like, what yeah. are we running away from? It's, it's a huge deal. Yeah. Like, 
what do you go 1.3 that's about more all you can invest inside a salary cap on yeah. one player yeah he'll be the biggest story next year in that he's playing without fisher harris leota yeah. yep. martin cleary <laughs> cleary and edwards yeah. 1.2 is a fair price i guess the the question is would there be more clubs in for him because you've question. had canterbury in yeah. for him and the tigers in for him and that mm. was probably it as far as we're aware mm. last year. I think that's a fair statement. I think there Definitely. would have been heaps more clubs in for him. Mm. Dragons? Dragons didn't want to go near him at all. Mm. You know, I think that But would they now? Cronulla? You know, uh, yeah. Well, it's market value, I guess, might push him up another 50. Broncos? Hundred. I don't think the Broncos could afford him, but... All these the clubs interest. would be in for him. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's mm. a fair point, for sure. You know, so I think that's probably where. So Warriors? I think, so, uh, you could yeah. name 10 clubs, I think, that, you mm. know where he, he could have ended up. So I think that, that's a good point. Matt wants to know, should the Roosters be angry that Nelson wasn't sent off last week? Surely by upholding the grade and giving a, a big ban, the NRL admitted it was a send-off offence. If a player's banned four to five matches, that's a send-off. Thoughts, boys, from Matt? Well, the NRL stuffed it up. It wasn't a grade three, so it wasn't a send-off. It was a 10 in the bin. It was a grade two at most. Yeah, but then it, the judiciary upheld the grade three. Yeah, but the judiciary got it wrong too. A lot of people getting it wrong. Well, you know it wasn't a grade I don't three. think it was either. No, no I'm with Dave, you. what I grade was it? No, yeah, grade two. There you go. Mobsy? Yeah, I think two. They stuffed up. But I get the point from Matt that considering it was a grade three, charged and then found guilty of, if you're grade three, that's a send-off. Hmm. So, but it was yeah, wrong. I can understand that in theory. Yes. But that, that wasn't a send-off. Nelson wasn't a send-off. But at the same time, the referee and the, the video referee aren't grading tackles. Of course, yeah. So they don't yep. know it's yeah. going to be four to five yes. matches. Yeah. yeah. They're just, great. they're just looking at the tackle. Yeah. And Good they're not. Point, they're Dave. saying that at this point in time, that's not a send-off. All right. And our old immortal wants to know, why wasn't Shane Flanagan coach of the year, Buzz? I think he declared <laughs> it. <at some> <laughs> <laughs> Did he watch the three games? What's his name? And our old immortal. And our old I think immortal, it, maybe yeah. they're taking the mickey because I think you declared him coach of the year oh, at one point. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said he was a contender. <laughs> and he was a month there. Can you go to the tape, please, Adam? <laughs> Wind Stadium. Keep going. Wind Stadium, Windsor. What the hell is Flano doing regarding middles? Buzz's mate was talking big recruitment plans when he got the job and he signed two blokes that weren't required at their clubs in Cook and Val. Without, without a decent prop, they aren't improving. Please tell me it's not Lodge. And Dylan also asked anything about Dragon signings. Boys? Val's a great signing. Could play fullback. Could that play was a, centre. That was a very good sign him given Zach Lomax. So it's cool. Yeah. yeah. They do need... Um, what's happened with Campbell Gillard? I think he'll be going to the Titans. Titans is the word. Mm. If they move a roster... Like I don't know what's happened. Lodge is a legitimate chance. In fairness, when Flano built Cronulla, you know, with Louis and um, Ennis. Michael Ennis and players... Gal was his man there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Lodge is a, it's a legitimate chance of happening. Um, but at the same time, Wind Stadium, Windsock, um, <laughs> there's not a plethora of quality mm. middles around. No. Uh, they could have a crack at Leo they Thompson got a really at Newcastle. Good guy. Who's the fellow they had in under 19s this year who was nearly man of the match? New South Wales, Mick, do you know who? I do. I do know. My goodness, yeah. mate. He won't Pacifica, be far off. Was it? Uh, yeah. He, Mobs, he's, he'll, yeah, he will he'll will play for the yeah, New yeah. South Wales origin in wow. a few years. Very, very one. special player. I could have that wrong, but yeah. You All keep right. going, I'll, I'll have a little look. Brad wants to know, with these times of hardship, can the AR, uh, ARLC reduce the cost of jerseys as parents are struggling? And who is in charge of pricing food and drink at the grounds? Maybe we can look at how the Americans treat their supporters. That's something you've been banging on about for a while, Buzz. Yeah, I'd Making love to see a pie chart one day to see where all the money goes and what the manufacturer gets, what Rebel Sports gets, what mm. the NRL gets as a merchandise fee, what the club gets. And it's got to be... It just can't go on. Mm. You know, it's... Yeah, yeah, I was What's right. What's his yeah. name, Mobsy? Loco Junior Pacifica Tonga. Yeah, Pacifica Tonga, yeah. Won't you see him play, Dave? Uh, okay. Yeah, big raps. He, he, he might even be a bench, you know. He's Eventually, too young yeah, to play young, middle. But he's, yeah. What about he was up against De La Salva for Queensland in that under-19. Yeah, so right. Nice. couple of good young props coming through. All right. Tim, there's often talk around consistencies, but never in a relation to the correlation to Simbin's to suspension. So 
We'll, we'll regularly see a tackle get binned and then just a fine and then others no sin bin but are followed by a suspension. Um, surely that needs to be fixed. So well, they're different. Been... They're different bodies. So I think that's the issue, yeah. right? We've, we've sort of touched well, on Matt this. Well, Matt's review is independent, you know. Mm. Mm. And as Dave said, the referees are on the run, not thinking of gradients. They're just dealing with... Speaking of independence, the independent always Sydney Morning Herald columnist Roy Masters sitting on the storm table last night. I had a good chat to Roy. Did you? Yeah. Well, do you have a problem with that? Not really. Well, Not at Roy and his stage. You don't his, sit on your St George if table. If he's you don't his sit career on your and his life. Is, and Roy, is Roy retired? No. Sydney? No, he's a most definitely a columnist. No, Roy's still a... Created the Les Boyd controversy. Oh, yeah. This year at the <laughs> Hall of Fame. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> Randy wants to know, with Buzz bringing up 50 years in journalism next se- next season, this guy's... It's not f- 50 in February 26. Oh, okay. Well, sorry, Randy. You, with Buzz bringing up 49 years in journalism next, se- <laughs> journalism next season, <laughs> and with that one su- suspects retirement, yeah. will he be doing a Steve Waugh-style farewell tour? across all media edit media, or simply walk off into the sunset like his great mate Sterlo. So Randy's obviously followed your career very closely. Well, I don't know. What's the plan, Buzzy There's Boy? No plan. What's the plan? No plan. Oh, that's year by no year? No plan. Yeah, I'm going to year by year deal with One Adam. year deal. One year hey, deal yeah. after next year. One to time. I'm Matt Tripp trying to keep him that's going That's the Shane Flanagan approach. It is, the sh- that's, that is very much keep no. hungry. That is the Flano Paul approach. Paul Gowan. You're going to rack up 50, Fair Buzzy? Well, to where can I do that? Can you take him? I'm right. off at GB, I'm off at the ABC. <laughs> Triple M have plummeted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll make Joey's little spot on the footy show either. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No farewell talk. Yeah, it'll be something. The book will be good. The book will be great. The yeah. book will be good. Have you started? No. Nah. Started. I've made notes yeah. and subheads. And you need to go so you have. So you have yeah. started? Yeah. I'm going to get Webby to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's leaving the Herald, eh, Webby? Yeah. yeah. He's on the open market. Mm. Adam Pengelly as well. Pengele, yeah, yeah, beautiful sports writer. Had a beer with Adam Pengelly last night. Mm. Terrific fella. Really good guy. Ooh. Yeah. Up there. But, uh, anyway. I like a lot of people. Can we go now? I don't like a lot of people I also work with. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, let's go. I'm going Name names. Well, Where are you going, going, going Buzzy? Yeah, yeah. Me too. I'm going to Chinese with some friends, yeah. Chinese? Yeah. Right. I love Chinese. Which one? Can't comment. I don't want listeners turning up there wanting a selfie. <laughs> Post 360? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll still have my makeup on and I'll look pretty good. With the 360? Let me ask another way. What's one of your favourite Chinese restaurants to go to if you were going to go to a Chinese restaurant? I love XAPP what down in Darling Harbour. We need mm-hmm. to organise all those when you get back to the Shangri La at the Shire, the old King Wan. The new Chinese at Cronulla's good. I yeah, haven't tried it, no. It's very good. Very good. What about Pronto if you're not in the mood for some Chinese? I won't ever go to Pronto. Levy's a good broadcaster as a restaurateur. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll head there at some point. It's not far from yeah, home. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. I'll try your schnitzel. It's not far, far, from, it's not far from home for <laughs> us. It? We'll have to do a home. We'll have to do a little team bonding session there or something. Well, so. Dave and I are in. Yep. Cause Easy. I'm too worried about who I might bump into there. <laughs> a few enemies. <laughs> Well, they were one of free feed. <laughs> Poor bugger, is he going to make money? <laughs> <laughs> are you, Davo? Uh, well, t- I'm going to Sharks presentation night. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, are pre- what are you presenting? Uh, <laughs> yeah. What are you in the running for? Um, the of the year? <laughs> what about you? <laughs> oh, you guys would know. Johnny Veej is... Um, Johnny <laughs> Veej, well... Do you yeah. know Johnny Veej? Yes. One of the great, great great photographer. He's, one of the uh, he has been made redundant. Mm. Oh, the really? leader. Sharks are presenting him... Uh, are they not? Oh, hopefully he's aware of this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk to my senior producer and get that job. Yeah, I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> You're a goose, Dave. Yeah. Seriously. That's a, I'm not sure Veejee's an avid listener. Uh, yeah, I've had enough of all of you. One of the greats, Veejee. When I was at the leader, awesome. Yeah, great photographer. I don't know what we're doing, mate. I just. What are you doing? No idea. What do you mean? Well, I got home late last night, up early this morning. Uh, you should be one of these husbands who takes an interest in the fridge and the, I the do, menu. I, and the, I do all the cleaning up, Buzz. Mm. That's my job. Me what, too. In a dishwasher. Well, you got someone's got to scrub it and pack it and unpack what it. What other chores do you do at home? I do lots of chores. Do you? I washing, hanging out. Do you? Yeah. Iron. And that's what I don't do. Iron and I do very minimal cooking. Right. There Is that you all go. right? 
Adam, <laughs> yeah. get the air fryer well, out, my friend. No, I, well, I had the cod at the Dally M's last night. That oh, was, yeah, I good, changed mine. I had the I swap with... I got the beef. There was some drama. <laughs> Yeah. Your read is just a gibber. I used the wasabi <laughs> from Honestly. the entree on mistake. Oh, that's so a good idea. Reedy was blaming us for someone ringing his mum. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, texted man. his mum ringing his wife out of control. <laughs> what are you having on? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I had a bit of a late night as well, so we're not playing, but I, I think after that, Thai food's always a good go, so. Is it? Mm. Maybe a peg after that, is that your like, backup from a hangover? No, just a short turn. I didn't get home till. After one what this morning, and you uh, get Thai from? There's a, uh, a Ross Noim, or I think it's called, oh, the really? Glenmore Park. Yeah, it do, does very well. You wouldn't support one of Fletcher's Asian restaurants at the least club? Well, it's it's local for me, so yeah, um, yeah, and no, no, I don't I don't mind the crap. Fletcher is funny, my sight. Brian Fletcher, the Panthers singer, Mate, was so, talking about. There's a story we can't repeat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was disgraceful. <laughs> No, it was fun. <laughs> that was a very good story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, save it for the book. Yes, yes. All right, well, enjoy your grand final, everyone. See Buzzy. you in four See you next Great. year. Love your work.